And on the case of the Sungai Siput MP, how is Pakatan Harapan dealing with it uh, with regards to the sexual harassment allegations? These uh, sexual harassment cases happen everywhere and I, we have seen uh, last year it happens in the medical field, in government hospital. We should not be surprised that it can happen in the political scene as well. But because this case, there are two different police reports filed and because they are police reports, so the police must do their investigation uh, and then the police will get the update from the police. Lah. Okay, in, in, the, in the other cases, for example, the Sungai Bulo one, where there was, um, well, one of the victims said she lodged police report, but the police report was not found in the Sungai Bulo incident. Uh, that one, an internal uh, probe happened because the victims were not willing to go to the police. But in this case, there are counter police reports filed. Therefore, I think the police must be allowed to do their investigation first. Yeah. But, but the joint action group for gender equality, they called for an internal investigation within the party, the party itself. Has, has that started? Or? You have to ask someone from PKR. Uh, I'm not from PKR, so I can't answer on their behalf. Yeah. But definitely in this case, there are two sides have lodged police reports, so the police must do their investigation. Yeah. Okay.